it's Presley from Act Out Games, and welcome to DreamWorks TV's unboxing. So today we are going to be reviewing this really, really cool six-in-one educational solar kit. And as you can see, you can make these six things. I think I'm going to start with this little cute dog. Um, it looks like it just, like, it wags its tail and maybe some other things. So let's go. All right, so let's start taking everything out of here. All right, so um, here are these little little uh, solar module, as it's called in the box, the solar module. That sounds really cool. And the little plastic pieces to make this in there, and the instructions. I like calling it instructions instructions. But we're gonna look through these and see how we can build the dog. I would rate this kit on a three out of five on a difficulty level. It's a little bit hard at some points. You might need a grown-up's help to do some of the wiring, but everything else is pretty easy. Plus, it's just good to have a grown-up with you so you can learn even more about solar science and the kit supplies you with. So now I'm gonna put together the dog. I'm really, really excited. So here he is done. He is very, very small and adorable and really cute. So he is really easy to put together, but my dad had to help me with the wiring because that part can just be a little tricky, but he could do it in no time. And it's pretty easy and fun to put together. So let's take him out in the sun and see what he does. Okay, so his tail is spinning a lot faster than I expected it to be. I expected it to just kind of wag back and forth, but no, it spins really, really fast in a circle. And he looks like an excited teeny weeny little puppy, and it's super duper adorable, and I love this thing. So like I said, this kit can make six things. You're gonna have to get the kit and build it yourself to see uh, most of them. But I'm gonna show you one more thing that looks really cool. And this this little airplane that spins around kind of like the Snoopy game that we played on Family Game Night a few videos ago. This is just sunlight. Like this is a light from our sun hitting the solar panel, making electricity, turning into electricity and powering these little motors, which makes all of these cool little things. And it's just so cool and amazing to think about. So since it's us, we can't just end the video without showing you how it works. So we're gonna do a little experiment showing you how a photovoltaic cell works and how that light gets turned into electricity and powers this kind of stuff. So we set this little cardboard thing up to show you how a solar panel and also a battery works because the processes are very, very similar. So these two th cardboard boxes represent a different material this one has a lot of extra electrons, which makes it negatively charged. And this down here needs some extra electrons, which makes it positively charged. So we're going to represent electrons by these orange ping pong balls here. So if I kind of put them up here, they all, as you, it's slanted to represent that they want to go down here because this place is extra and this place needs some. So they want to take it down here, but it can't. So this is how a battery and solar panel works. It has all this energy stored up, and when you link them together with a wire, then these electrons can go down here and start charging everything. So we've hooked these two materials together with a wire. So this place has the extra electrons, and now the extra electrons can go down into the place that needs some extra electrons. These little electrons going through this wire here is electricity. So if we hooked up the little motor right here, then it would turn, and that's why the dog wags its tail or the little airplane flies around. So it's really, really cool how kind of simple this actually is. So now let's talk about where these free electrons up there come from and how light is involved. In the top material of a photovoltaic cell, there isn't usually just a bunch of electrons just floating around ready to go down to here. They're attracted and attached to atoms, but very, very loosely. So as you can see here, we have little atoms drawn and these little ping pong balls very, very loosely attached to them. So usually if something were to come and knock them down, they would be able to create the electric current and get the dog to work again. So I am going to be the sun and I have these little photons, which are little packets of light that we can use to knock these down and go through the wire so we can create an electric current. 
So I'm gonna be the sun and make the dog work again by using my photons to knock down these ping pong balls. And now the dog works again. All right, so this is an oversimplification of the process that is actually used with the solar panel. And this process is very similar to how a battery works. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how it works and you can do some more research on your own to find out what happens when more in detail. So it's really, really cool to build these little things. Um, we always like to make like physical models that you can actually get our hands on and be able to touch and test out these theories in a physical sense. So like light electrons and light being ping pong balls and stuff like that. And it's just really fun to be able to have something you can physically see and touch and really easily to see what's going on. So we always like to leave you with a couple of questions so you can do some research on your own. Number one, why doesn't the solar panel stop working and run out of electrons after a while? Because the electrons just keep going through the wire. Why doesn't it run out and then just stop working? And number two is why does the solar panel work in the sun but not under a light bulb? So if you know the answers to these questions, post them in the comments below. If not, go ahead and research them yourselves and post the answers in the comments below. I would love to see what you learned as well as talk to you a little bit about the subjects. So this kit gives you a lot of really cool solar robots to make and combined with a little bit of research on how solar actually works, you get a great unit study and you learn a whole bunch about solar as well as you just get to have fun making these little solar robots and that's the way that we like to learn. We're very hands-on as well as we like doing some research and throwing together quick unit studies. So subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more of these really cool unboxing videos as well as check me out at Act Out Games. We do a bunch more educational content like this as well as much, much more. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Wrecking ball coming through!